but uh, because we were in bowl games every year uh, during that time, I never saw Frank on, on, on the Plainsman Park field until January of 1987. And I'll never forget it was cold and, and we had the batting cage up and you know guys are, are, are freezing and trying to get their work in. Frank steps in, never seen him swing a bat on this field. We'd seen him at Columbus High. But the first the first pitch he swung at, he really hit a, a, just a two iron over the shortstop's head. And I remember distinctly our hitting coach, Steve Renfro, was standing right beside me. And I said, Steve, there's our number four hitter for three years. Let's not, don't, don't mess with him, leave him alone. Let's just make sure he gets to the park on time and we'll be fine. <laughs> but Frank was so sophisticated. Uh, it, was, it was clear that Bobby Howard had done an amazing job with him combined with Frank's natural ability. And you had a guy that didn't really need a lot of coaching.